Well, we have awoken the flies, unfortunately. <laughs> So there's hundreds now flying around in here. Eric and I just got up. We're going to make some coffee with hot chocolate and some breakfast. We've got peppers, eggs, and potatoes. We're making a very festive hot chocolate this morning to go in our coffee. We have these Abuelitas hot chocolate, and they're like a spicy Mexican hot chocolate. And then we got a Tim Hortons hot chocolate, and we're using some fresh whole milk. Oh yeah. I slept pretty good, and then Arrow woke me up, and we're pretty sure that it was like 120 degrees in the loft. That wood stove, it heats. It's not efficient, so even when I crank it down on low, I'm pretty sure because it has like rust holes in the side, it still gets a lot of air, so it just like goes full blast. and. Yeah, there's no window in the loft. I had to come downstairs at like five in the morning and just open the door wide open and let some of that air in. It's not as cold this trip though, so I probably had the fire going a little too hot. So we got snow water we're melting here for dishes. We actually tried to bring more water this time, but the trail in was so bumpy that it punctured a hole in my extra gallon of water that I had and it leaked out on the way here, so that kind of sucks. So we're melting snow water again and I got my water boiling or almost boiling for my coffee. So not much on the agenda for today. I think we're gonna try fishing. We walked onto the other side of the peninsula where our cabin is, and it looks like that might be a good spot to try fishing. We might drill one hole over there and try some jigging. I know we need to get some more wood chopped up. Another big thing we wanna to do today, since this is going to be the last trip until the ice melts, we need to get this cabin ready for bears. And what I mean by that is we need to make sure that no bears break in here. We did just get out here yesterday, so this is our first morning here, but we're already kind of cleaning things up a little bit. Uh, we want to make sure we leave here by 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, so we're kind of just tidying things up a little bit. Make it a little easier when we want to head out of here. This is a special drink right there. This is something extremely special. Oh, there's special. a splash of something else or something in there. Something to really get you going. That one's yours. Now we relax. <laughs> Sorry. Uh. <laughs> I'm so hey, yours looks pretty good with that hot chocolate. It does. I'm just still thank you, babe. Maybe one day I will be so real. That reminds me of when Austin Powers is drinking. Oh my. It's a little nutty. <laughs> <laughs> this coffee tastes like. Quite literally, yeah. I just want to get my British accent. I can't right now. My throat's too raspy, you know what I mean? Ooh, toasty puppies. They were. They didn't really get up at all. Okay, so this morning when you were up, I heard someone tap dancing. So I either heard him on the deck or. Yeah, it was, it was us outside. Well, I heard you guys tap. Someone was tap dancing outside. Look, babe. Do you see this one? He's content with that. Of course he is. See, you turn that thing on and he knows. If there's food around, he's gonna be the first person at the table. <laughs> Aw, come on, buddy ball. Such a good little rump. Such a good little peanut. Lefty peanut. Don't look like that, sweetie. Go to sleep and get rest. Go to sleep. Get rest.
Well, it's 11 a.m. and we haven't <laughs> accomplished very much so far today. Breakfast took a lot longer with those potatoes and change plan. Eric and I are feeling a little more, I guess, tired today and want to relax. So instead of going pike fishing again, we are going to be taking apart all the wood stove, getting it kind of set up for the summer, making sure we don't need anything and just doing a few other little odds and ends around here. Yeah, what do you think about that? Good plan. Thanks, babe. Looks pretty decent, right? Sounds pretty good. It's like a, a meal for a king and a queen. A meal for six kids or something. Yeah. Made a lot of food. Oh yes, this salsa is good. Look at that. Look how much salsa I put on mine. <laughs> I know you like you like love this salsa. <laughs> to our health. To our dreams. I'm not dying. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> not yet. Key in my pocket knife. goes directly onto that? Or no, you bought a piece to add, huh? That goes directly onto that. Yeah. How's it inside? Inside. It goes like up on the ceiling. That's the piece to fixate it, right? No, this doesn't fix it. This just kind of covers up the cap where the, so it looks good. That's that. You mean so it looks good on top of the plastic? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can we just squish out a little more? Stuff Insulation on there. Yeah, you know, you gotta keep that in Yeah, all the fire bricks, man. Awesome. She's beautiful, babe. Beauty. It's nice. It's okay. Here's one of those bolts. I hope we didn't lose the other one. A bolt? The little hinge that holds the door on. Well, here's our wood stove that we brought up, I don't know, maybe a month ago or so. And I'm actually really glad that we disassembled it and checked it. Um, Cause we're actually missing one of the little pieces right here that holds the door in. So we're gonna have to get another one of those. We brought this up here this winter cause it's the easiest way to get it out here is bringing it up on snow machine. The wood stove that is here needs to be replaced. It's extremely unsafe. The way it was ran through the wall, they ran it through the wall with single wall pipe, which gets extremely hot. We kind of fixed it for now. I put a piece of double wall in there, but the stove itself is rusted through in a lot of spots. We just decided we want to put a new wood stove out here. The way we're going to be putting this wood stove in is we're going to go through the ceiling. We have all the pipe over here and we need there to be no snow on the roof. So we're going to be putting this in this summer. We're kind of just making sure now that we have everything we need. Since it's such a long trip out here, we don't want to realize when we're putting this thing in that we needed some more parts. Everything's looking good so far. This little stove's pretty nice. I'm really digging it. It's going to look good in this cabin. All the fire bricks are in good condition. Another really cool thing about this stove compared to the old one is this one has a nice big glass door, which is really nice. Puts off a lot of light. Should be pretty cool to have this thing installed. Which would be the pipe that we'll think I need Oh, to get all the, the crimps go down. Yeah, I think I need to get the screws. We're screwing that black pipe together. This is called the drip, I think it's called the drip. Drip, drip something. Yeah. This is, we gotta have that for the crew, so. So far it's looking pretty good. We have most of the stuff we need. We do need that hinge for the door. We need the little black screws that are going to connect the, the stove pipe. We don't have any of those. And then we have the caulking at home. We're trying to keep that warm. We don't want to leave it out here and have it freezing. So we'll bring that with us when we bring it up. And then we're going to need all the tools to put this thing in. We are going to have to bring our small generator out here because we're going to need a jigsaw to cut through the metal roof. And um, 
you know, put the pipe through there. And then we are going to put a little snow break before the wood stove pipe, kind of protect the pipe. Some of the other things we have is the stainless steel double wall pipe. This is the pipe that's gonna go on the outside. We're gonna put a damper on the inside. We did this on our stove at home and we really like this. I don't know exactly what this piece is called, but this is gonna go on the inside of our ceiling, just kind of make it look nice and pretty when it's all done. And then we've got the collar for the outside and then this is the gasket that kind of seals up uh, so no rain will get inside our roof. I believe this is called a drip shield. Maybe, but this goes on the top section. We're good on that. And then this is the part that kind of goes through the ceiling and then goes outside. And then that stainless steel double wall pipe will bolt on top of that. And then the last is the chimney cap. This goes on top and that's about it. I'm gonna kind of look over things and just go over it one more time and make sure there's nothing else that we're gonna need. Do you have a jacket on? I have to put my blue on. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wear this one. Yeah, that's all good too. I'm just gonna... Oh, it's stuck on my head. There we go. Trying to get lovey dovey on me? Um, I just wish sometimes we could be connected. Look at these fools! You ready to go out? Oh, I'll probably bring my mittens if we're gonna be doing some rearranging out there. I think we're just rearranging gas. Fuel on me. Again, our snow machines topped off with some fuel starting on mine. You burn a lot of fuel coming out here. These snow machines are not good on gas. At least ours aren't. Mine holds 11 gallons and I usually need about two more gallons to make it home. So I'm gonna put my two gallon jug in. Ariel's burns about the same. She only has a 10 gallon tank. So we have three gallons on hers. So when we come out here, we pretty much just pack enough fuel to get out here and to get back. And especially when we're towing, we end up using a lot more fuel. You can start, uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna take that tarp and everything completely out and I'm just gonna put stuff directly in there on top of the moving blanket. And then I'm just gonna put the tarp over the top. You know what I mean? Oh, Cause you know how the tarp wouldn't yeah, fit last. Yeah, no, I get it, yeah. Stuck in the back stuff is all. Yeah. We gotta be careful because the uh, tip -ups. I think I'm gonna put uh, about two gallons in yours, out of yours, and then we'll just save a gallon for. I really like that guy's thing too. For extra. Guess hey. what? It went down like a sack of potatoes. Oh, I brought the hammer down here. Oh, look, my hitch. It's about to come off. We're going over my machine making sure everything's tight. I checked my bumper and it was good, but I went to check my hitch and not so good. So I'm gonna see if we can get this tightened up. Uh, we might have to invest in a heavy duty bumper for this one too, like Ariel's got. This trip was really bumpy. So the whole time, the, the whole five hour trip, that trailer that I had behind me, which was pretty heavy this time, was just like boom, 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 boom. And I don't have a little spring on mine like Ariel's got on her. So anyways, I'm gonna get this tightened up. See if I can do it with my Leatherman, otherwise I'm gonna have to get my tools out. I gotta get my tools out. <laughs> While I'm getting my tools out, I'll show you my little bag we keep on this machine. This is a dry bag that always stays on this one. Keep things dry. And I got like a snow machine survival bag. We got our little mini shovel right there. In here we got, you know, food, shelter. We have recovery equipment like straps, uh, flares, survival blankets and some tools. So let's see if we can get this thing fixed. What size do I need? We got it tight for now. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this little wrench in my pocket, that way I don't have to dig it out. And um, I'm gonna have to check this a few times on the way home. See if we're good, but I'm gonna get my machine turned around and then we're gonna go down and handle Ariel's machine.
He's right there. Well, it's turned out to be a really nice day out here. It's nice and sunny. I didn't know the sun was coming out and we're just enjoying the sunshine with the dogs. <laughs> they seem to be enjoying it a lot. It's so nice that it's warm. I think it's, I don't even know if it's in the 20s today, but it just feels really warm with the sun and the dogs obviously do really well in it too. We're gonna take another little walk around the lake and chop some wood, I think. Sitting on right there. <laughs> I'll put on my snowshoes, is okay? Sure. There's my wood. You expend so much more energy in snow and sand, huh? Oh yeah. Up. Is this a tree here? Looks like a tree, me. <laughs> yeah, it is a tree. I meant, is it standing? I guess. Hey, do you have rounds as you play for cheap? No, she's sneaking us into like two feet of snow. Yeah. <sighs> so 
exhausted. Chaga. It does look like chaga. There we go. Cool. So apparently I need to pack this down a little bit. Evergreen? I love it. Evergreen. Is this just like the perfect tree? Cut it down for Christmas. Don't you say that? It's just like It's just gorgeous. Well, we started a nice little campfire, I don't know, about an hour ago. <laughs> just kind of hang out out here. We wanted to burn some of this cardboard from when we took apart the wood stove. That way we don't have to bring it back with us. And now we got like a three foot deep pit in this snow. So we're just burning some stuff. Hanging out a little bit on our last night here at the cabin. Careful. Just spread your legs so if you mess it goes between your legs. So you don't want to go to the hospital. <laughs> you want me to go like this? Are those gloves too slippery? No. I can't do this with this. This is insane. No way. How are you splitting them? Well, yeah. you were splitting them. It took you a few times. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't. And that was with the that was with extreme force. <laughs> Hey, this is a tough one I gave you. Well, I don't think I was going to get any of Well, so. let's just leave these ones for next time because I will have some wood. Whoa. Yes, that's good. Are you going to bring that too? Yeah. It's the evening time. It's getting cold out here even with that campfire. I think we're going to head inside for the night. we got a bunch of work to do before tomorrow.
We're not quite ready for dinner yet, but I am making us cornbread and I know it's gonna take a long time to cook because we're cooking it on our wood stove. So I'm gonna add our pre-assembled, kind of all the ingredients, it's sugar, baking powder, cornmeal, flour. We've got some coconut oil, milk, and eggs. We've been keeping these in snow to keep them cold. And then we're gonna add cowboy candy, which is just candied jalapenos, but we thought that'd be really delicious in there. Got some snow water, or snow, <laughs> turning into dishwater on the wood stove. Um, this has been a really nice trip so far. Really relaxing. I'm enjoying it. Uh, it's a lot of work to get out here, and we always have things to do, but so far it's been a lot of what we hoped for, which was relaxing, strangely. The last time we did the puzzle, this time we really got to enjoy a lot of outside. There's a really pretty sunset out there too. Well, that's really good. <laughs> We're gonna see how this cooks in the skillet. Oh, well, that's good. Um, with this little pan top or pot top. It's really not ideal out here because this wood stove's not really set up for cooking um, and it doesn't always turn out great, but I actually have a feeling this is gonna turn out pretty good. Cornbread is just about done, and I'm making some moose meat. I got got it thinly sliced right there, and we're gonna do some barbecue sauce on it. Gonna add our barbecue sauce. Let this cook for a couple minutes. And I think we're gonna be ready to eat. Extremely gorgeous slices, babe. Okay. Huh. Try the cornbread. It's really good. Heading up for the night. We gotta come up with a better ladder system. Good morning. Had a pretty good sleep last night and just getting ready to hit the road this morning. We're making some coffee. Did breakfast really easy this morning. We're doing a mountain house biscuits and gravy. Weather's looking pretty good this morning, but it is it's pretty cold. We got clear skies. We have some stuff to do around here, but first we're kind of just gonna drink our coffee, have some breakfast, and we're gonna pack things up a little.
just finished up breakfast and I'm almost done with my coffee. Bringing stuff outside and today we're going to be doing something. We actually did it last time too because we didn't know if we were coming back out to the cabin. And what I mean is we are going to be protecting the cabin from bears or you know using a deterrent. And so when we got here there was a bunch of pine sole. There was a bunch of black pepper and there's a few other weird little things and Eric and I didn't really understand what that was for since then we have learned that that is majorly for bear protection. So we have this pine sole. It is the classic, the original one. It smells like pine and apparently bears extremely dislike this stuff. They do not like the way this smells and since we will not be back out here until the summertime and bears will already have woken up, it's also evident that bears have been in the area because of the scratch marks on the cabin. Eric and I are going to wipe everything down with this. We're going to be, you know, using some of it diluted outside. We're removing all the garbage. Make sure we have no food in here or other scented things that they could be attracted to. May seem kind of extreme, but I think it's a cheap price to pay to not have a bear to break in. maybe or something so did you really yeah because i was outside earlier and i thought i heard something too would you say this is the rest of it? the table that's a farmhouse <laughs> farmhouse style right there if i looked under here there's no cash there's not I'm just going around the cabin and I'm going to put a little bit on the walls and the siding. This is where obviously a bear or I don't know maybe more than one. I don't think they actually tried to break in because I think they can get in pretty easily if they want to but um, there was a lot of food in here and I'm for sure they smelt it and were interested. <laughs> it's a crow. You hear his wings? Where Eric and I are at, closer to town, um, we don't really have any issues with bears. And out here, I just imagine it's more displaced. There's, there's probably more bear activity, especially because we're gonna have, you know, there's a lot of scents associated with human activity that I'm sure they're gonna pick up on now that we're coming here. And then we're not here for, you know, maybe a few weeks, months at a time. So we're trying to be extra, take extra precautions. So from all the dishes we've done and coffee and things like that, you end up with scraps of food. We try to keep it all in one spot so we could douse it in the pine saw and hopefully that'll work. I don't know. We kind of got to figure something else out on what we're going to do with scrap food because we don't really want to leave it out here, but it's what we're doing this time. Okay, we've done all we can do. Hopefully next time we come out here, we'll not have a bear in the cabin. <laughs> Yep. 
going to fold it. You're almost there. <laughs> Home stretch. Not almost enough. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. Getting close, guys. Good job. <laughs> 